This is Eric's working with one of our Tennessee walking horse fillies. This is uh, Ed's golden girl. We call her Goldie. He's just uh, getting her comfortable and coming up to the mounting block and teaching her to move and adjust over and stuff like that. And uh, we got quite a bit going on here. You got uh, my, my period Jimmy's here. He's, he's, you can see he's in the background. He's trimming that's fifth of gin. All our Tennessee walking horses, people ask us all the time, all our, all our horses are barefoot. We don't do any of the pads or anything like that. Um, we're not into that at all. We, we're the breeding, raising, and training um, Tennessee walkers for uh, trail and pleasure ride. Good, speak, good, good riding horses. And that's what they were known for. And uh, so that's what we're doing. They have such great uh, personalities, demeanors, and everything. Um, they, they call them the golden retriever of the horse world. Um, they're just such sweet-natured uh, horses. Yeah. A lot of try and a lot of, a lot of heart. Uh, they have a good motor to them. They, they have some incredible endurance. Smooth ride, uh, especially when they're started like how we start them. Uh, we get them real balanced and all that, coordinated. A lot of times, uh, if they're coming out of the the padded world, you get a horse that just knows how to move in a straight line and they're just uncoordinated and they race through hands and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, our horses just aren't like that. And it's just how you raise them and how you train them. But she's a great, great filly there. And like I said, that guy, that guy in the background there, that's that's fifth of gin. He's a stud. He's a stallion. And, uh, you know, it's, this is how we, we work them. We work them around like this. And so they get, they get used to everyone's, they get everyone's, they get used to uh, all this moving around and everything. See, we have these other ones here, like, that's my stallion. That is way back when. And he's uh, waiting. He's going to be trimmed. And this is uh, one of my stallions. This is Ed's Majestic Stranger. We call him Doc. And he's pretty worked up right now. Both these guys are kind of worked up. They were just taken out of the, the pastures with their mares. And they get very anxious when, when that happens. And because um, they think that, I think they think they're losing their family, to be honest. So, um so they'll be they'll be going right back out there with them as soon as they're done being trimmed. But he's he's settled down there. Wayne, he's settled down. There he goes. So this is like what I call a willing partner. You know, this is you can have this with your horse. Um, and it's not it's not incredibly difficult to do. It's easy to it, what it is. It's easy to mess it up though. You know, you can just through some things, dumb things you do, you can you can mess this relationship up with your horse and. Um, and we'll talk about some of that stuff in the future as we as we do this. But you can kind of see it's just you know it's 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 your demeanor, it's your body language, it's how you approach a horse, it's what you do when you get a horse, you know, when you interact with them. You know, if you get your horse out of the field or out of the pasture or out of the stall and saddle them up and work them to their a lather sweat and then put them away. When they see you coming, they're going, oh my gosh, this is a drill sergeant, you know. I don't know if I want to be around this guy. Now, there's a, some of that you need you need to, um, you know, require stuff out of them, just like you or me. I mean, we, we rise or fall to the amount of, uh, uh, you know, expectation we have. So um, so you want to have some of that. But but we, we bring our horses in, and I mean, a lot of times we'll feed them or brush them. And so they look forward to us being around they, they associate a lot of good stuff with us and then they also associate 
you know, they're learning stuff and they're getting more comfortable around people. Yeah, I like that.